The legendary Triforce has been a reoccurring and vital part of the Legend of Zelda series. The three golden triangles which can give immense power to the beholder, created by the three godly beings responsible for the world, Hyrule and everything in it. Since the very first Zelda game, it's played a big role in the main plot of almost the entire series. So, where was it in Breath of the Wild? Even though the Triforce had a visual presence here and there, like in Hyrule Castle, the Temple of Time, and its decoration for clothing, shields, and armor, it was never mentioned by any character in the game. Which is odd, being as in past Zelda games, it was a big part of the mythology of Hyrule. Even when it wasn't a big part of the narrative, it was a presence in the story and referenced at some point. So let's look into this mystery and what it can mean for the sequel to Breath of the Wild. But first, if you love The Legend of Zelda, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any cool Zelda content, including theories, fun facts, and retrospectives. Thanks guys. Back to the video. So like I was saying, the Triforce has been featured in pretty much every Zelda game that took place in Hyrule, and in even some that didn't. Except for Breath of the Wild. Though the symbol was featured here and there, it was never mentioned by any character, to my knowledge and I did search the word Triforce in a Breath of the Wild text dump just in case. So my theory starts here with the fact that Breath of the Wild takes place so long after any of the past titles that are now looked at as legends. Definitely over 10,000 years at minimum, which is a really long time. To give you an idea of how long that really is, in our world, we barely just started recording history roughly four to 5,000 years ago. And who knows what legends and myths are true or accurate around then, or that came before then. And that's only half of the time before Calamity Ganon appeared and was beaten by Link and Zelda with the help of the Sheikah technology. And even longer since any of the past games on the timeline had happened. So, maybe it's possible that the knowledge of the Legend of the Triforce was lost through time. I mean, it's definitely possible that some of the older beings, like the Great Fairies or the Deities, like the Dragons or Deku Tree, might be aware of its existence, but it's never mentioned by them at the very least. And for the record, I don't believe Zelda had the Triforce at the very end of Breath of the Wild. What I personally believe is she is one of the incarnations of one of the main carriers of a piece of the Triforce, and has the blood of the Goddess Hylia running through her veins, and that it was symbolism more or less. Like any of the other times we've seen a piece of Triforce glowing on Zelda, Link, or Ganon, I don't think the fact that the whole thing was illuminated was anything more than a new aesthetic choice in the design. Because the Triforce has the power to grant wishes that have rewritten realities and resurrected people that were long dead, and even recreated a replica of itself in another parallel realm with seemingly power equal to itself. Which is crazy. Because when you think about it, if Zelda had the complete Triforce, there would be no sequel for she could just wish for prosperity and to relinquish any threats to the kingdom. And when she sealed Ganon for a hundred years, the Triforce could do so much more than that. Calamity Ganon would have been an afterthought. I just wanted to say that because I know some fans do believe that, and not only do I personally think that it doesn't make sense, but it would make this theory pointless, so. Anyway. One thing that we know about the sequel to Breath of the Wild is that Ganondorf is returning. And if the legend of the Triforce has been lost to time, Ganondorf will be the only one who actually knows about it, or at least one of the few. In almost every game featuring Ganon or Ganondorf, he was after the Triforce, and if he remains in a state of decay as he's shown in the trailer, the Triforce may be the only way to restore his power. Having to figure out what Ganondorf is planning would make for an awesome story. Then rediscovering the legend of the Triforce, and then to have to find it before the Gruyo King finds it for himself? Or what if Ganondorf uses Link to find it to try and either restore himself, take over Hyrule, or possibly fully resurrect Demise, if breaking the Master Sword has anything to do with that? Which I have a theory about that I'll link right here if you want to check it out. And like I mentioned in that theory, Ganondorf's malice does seem to go after the Master Sword, and it would be very much like the cunning and manipulating Ganondorf in Ocarina of Time to break the Master Sword so that Link would have to find a way to repair it, which may or may not include the Triforce. But if not, maybe the only way to save Zelda is to find it, and Link, the hero of the wild, the rightful holder of the Triforce of Courage, may be the only one who can get to it, and Ganondorf would know that. After thousands of years of Ganondorf coming back in some sort of incarnation, and all the attempts he made trying to get a hold of the Triforce, it's not too far-fetched to think that there were some fail-safes made to keep it away from him. 
and that also could lend credence to the theory that the Triforce legend has been lost in time, and be one of the reasons that it seems that the Triforce isn't something of common knowledge in the Hyrule of Breath in the Wild like it was in past depictions of Hyrule. There are several ways this storyline could work in a lot of cool ways. In the second Breath of the Wild trailer, we see Zelda fall. Maybe Ganondorf was trying to capture her because he thinks she knows something about the Triforce, having royal blood and all. Maybe whatever the essence of the green hand that seemed to imbue power within Link and his arm, possibly Zonai, possibly something else we've never heard of, are the guardians of the secret of the Triforce's location, or at least the way to get to the location, like trials, dungeons, shrines, and things of that sort. Maybe that's what the islands in the sky are. New trials or dungeons to either reassemble the Triforce, or find a map or an artifact that gives you the location, or a key to open its resting place. I just think it lines up really well with the absence of the Triforce in Breath of the Wild, and the return of an infamous character who has had and used the Triforce, sought after it countless times, and knows it very well. And there are just a lot of cool things Nintendo can do with that, and I really hope they weave this aspect into the story of the upcoming sequel. So what do you guys think of this theory? Do you like the idea that Ganondorf will be looking for the long lost Triforce? Do you have any ideas to support this theory or any other thoughts about it? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new Zelda content. And I'll see you guys soon.